Theresa Mary Palmer is an Australian actress, writer, model, and film producer. Palmer began her career with roles in such films as Bedtime Stories, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, and Take Me Home Tonight. She received further recognition for starring in the films Warm Bodies, Lights Out, Hacksaw Ridge, and Berlin Syndrome. She also starred in, co-wrote, and co-produced the drama film The Ever After, with her husband Mark Weber. Since 2018, Palmer has starred as Diana Bishop in the supernatural drama series A Discovery of Witches. Palmer was born and raised in Adelaide, South Australia. She is the only child of Kevin Palmer, an investor, and Paula Sanders, a former nurse and missionary. Her parents divorced in 1989 when she was three. She has a stepmother, Karen Palmer, as well as two half-sisters and two step-brothers, who lived with her father. Palmer stated to interview that she came from rather humble beginnings, she lived in public housing with her mother and grew up on her father's farm in the Adelaide Hills. Palmer was named after Mother Teresa by her mother, and has stated that she had a tough upbringing due to her mother's manic depression. Palmer was a student at Mercedes College, a private Catholic day school, and won a local casting audition, Search for a Movie Star, in 2003. Her first acting job was dressing up as Strawberry Shortcake and an elf assistant to mall Santa Clauses on weekends for promotions in shopping centers near Adelaide. Palmer went to acting classes for a couple of years and appeared in a few television adverts. She was a fast food attendant at Hungry Jack's and Rundle Mall in 2005, before working at clothing retailers Supra, Mambo Australia, and Cotton On. After graduating from high school, Palmer got a call from her local talent agent about appearing in a student film, 237. The director had seen her headshot on the acting agency's website and wanted her to be in the movie. Palmer thought that she would work in an animal rescue service and eventually open her own animal welfare agency. She was accepted into a university to study teaching and was taking a course on journalism, but had always dreamt of acting. Palmer dropped out of the university to work on the film. Palmer had been an extra on Deck Dogs, and other films shot in Adelaide. At the age of 18, she was cast by filmmaker Murali K. Thaluri in the independent Australian film 237. Palmer portrayed Melody in the film, a popular high school student who becomes suicidal after being impregnated by her brother. She was nominated for the 2006 Australian Film Institute Award for Best Lead Actress for her performance. She then signed with a talent agent in Sydney. A role in Wolf Creek followed, in a pool party scene. Palmer starred in the psychological thriller Restraint, with English actor Stephen Neuer and Calvin Klein model Travis Fimmel. Shot on location around New South Wales in mid-2005, the film was written by Dave Warner and directed by David Denine. Palmer was named an Australian Star of Tomorrow by Screen International that year. She then starred in December Boys, a coming-of-age film set in the 1960s, based on a novel by Michael Noonan. She played Lucy, who has a romance with Daniel Radcliffe's character on a remote beach resort. Palmer studied Dominique Swain's performance in Lolita to capture her character's overt sexuality. The film began shooting in November 2005 on the south coast of Australia. It was released on September 14, 2007 in the UK and US and September 20, 2007 in Australia and received mixed reviews and failed at the box office. 237 premiered at the 2006 Kin Film Festival in Uncertain Regards selection. The film received a standing ovation, a turning point for Palmer, giving her confidence in acting as a career. The trip to can lead her to meet her manager, David Seltzer, and American talent agents. She signed with the William Morris Agency. Palmer was cast to star with Tom Sturridge in her first American feature, Jumper, a science fiction film directed by Doug Liman. Her part was later recast when the lead characters were rewritten for older actors, her role went to Rachel Belson. Palmer was devastated from losing the role and returned to Adelaide for a few months. 
she made her Hollywood feature film debut in The Grudge 2 in 2006, a horror sequel starring Amber Tamblyn and Sarah Michelle Gellar. Palmer described her character, Vanessa, as the bitch's schoolgirl. The Grudge 2 was released in North America on October 13, 2006 to negative reviews and grossed $70 million worldwide against its $20 million budget. In early 2007, Palmer was cast as Tori Frederking in the comedy Take Me Home Tonight, starring Anna Ferris, Dan Fogler, and Topher Grace. Set in the 1980s, the film was directed by Michael Dowes and released in March 2011. Take Me Home Tonight received negative reviews from film critics and was a box office flop, failing to recoup its $19 million budget. Palmer starred in the film clip for the 2007 single Breaking Up, by the band Eskimo Joe, shot in Newcastle. Palmer jumps into the sea with the band's singer, Cavian Temperley. Palmer relocated from Semaphore Beach in Adelaide to Los Angeles in May 2007 to further her career, and began auditioning for films. She stated that Los Angeles was a big adjustment and very different from her home in Australia. She went through a period of loneliness and depression, and considered going back home until she made friends there. In November 2007, Palmer was cast as the villain, Talia Al Ghul, in the DC Comics superhero film, Justice League of America, alongside DJ. Caught Rona, Adam Brody, Anton Yelchin, Common and Megan Gale. George Miller was set to direct the film, but it was cancelled by Warner Brothers. Due to script rewrite issues in the 2007-2008 Writers Guild of America strike, Palmer was the face of Sydney jeweler Jan Logan's Modern Darling collection in 2008. She was picked that year by Adam Sandler from an audition tape to play his love interest in the Walt Disney Pictures children's film, Bedtime Stories. She played an heiress, Violet Nottingham, starring alongside Guy Pearce and Courtney Cox. Sandler also put Palmer's mother and best friend in scenes in the film. It was released on December 25, 2008 and received mixed to negative reviews but grossed $212 million worldwide on its $80 million budget. Palmer won the romantic lead in Disney's The Sorcerer's Apprentice, produced by Jerry Bruckheimer and directed by John Turtletoe. The film was based on the relevant section of the animated film Fantasia, which was set to a short symphonic poem for orchestra by Paul Dukas, Ella Printy Sorciar, all of which were inspired by the eponymous poem by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Palmer stayed in Manhattan's West Village while filming for six months. She played Becky Barnes, a college student who is pursued by Dave Stutler a physics student and apprentice to the wizard Balthazar. It was released on July 14, 2010 to mixed reviews, and grossed $215 million worldwide on its big $150 million budget. In July 2010, Parade magazine named the film No. 1 on its list of biggest box office flops of 2010. In 2009, Palmer formed the film production company Avakia Productions with Australian actresses Tahina Tazi and Natalie Kelly. She was a guest judge on MTV Australia, for the Sydney Filmmaking Talent Contest, Optus 180 Project. She also filmed an ad campaign that year for the Australian jeans store, Just Jeans, and became the face and spokesperson for the Jerlaki Cosmetics Company. In 2011, Palmer starred in the sci-fi adventure film, I Am Number 4, alongside Alex Pettifer and Diana Agron. She played number six, one of nine aliens hiding out on Earth because her home planet was destroyed. Her character was skilled in martial arts, rode a Ducati motorcycle, and could face her way through solid objects. She went through stunt training for the role, learning to perform flips, sword fight, and do wire work. The film was adapted from a novel that was the first of a six-part series. Palmer signed on to do three movies, if the film became a franchise. The film was released in theaters on February 18, 2011, and was also released in the IMAX format. It received generally negative reviews from critics and grossed $149 million worldwide. Palmer was going to star in Fury Road, a sequel to the Mad Max series by Australian filmmaker George Miller, but didn't join the cast due to scheduling conflicts. The film was later postponed. Palmer starred in the short film There, directed by Nash Enterbin, 
which competed at the 2011 Cannes Film Festival. She appeared opposite Joe Ledgerton in the independent Australian drama thriller, Wish You Were Here, directed by Kieran Darcy Smith. The film began shooting in Sydney in November 2010, and premiered at the 2012 Sundance Film Festival. As of 2015, review aggregate site Rotten Tomatoes gave this film an approval rating of 72%. She also starred in a comedic short, Quirky Girl, for the website Funny or Die, opposite Aaron Paul. Palmer starred in the 2013 zombie film, Warm Bodies, produced by Summit Entertainment, and based on a young adult novel by Isaac Marion. She played Julie, a human who falls in love with a zombie. It was released on February 1, 2013 in the United States and on February 8, 2013 in the United Kingdom. It opened to positive reviews and grossed $116 million worldwide. In February 2013, Palmer was announced as the global face of artistry cosmetics. Palmer then starred in Love and Honor with Liam Hensworth, an independent romance filmed in mid-2011 in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The film is set in the 1960s during the Vietnam War, and was released in March 2013. It had a limited release on March 22, 2013, receiving negative reviews and only grossed $19,000. In 2014, she co-starred alongside Josh Hartnett, Rosario Dawson, and Penn Badgley in the romantic drama Parts Per Billion. It was released on video on demand on May 20, 2014, and on home video on June 6, 2014. It received negative reviews from critics. Palmer had two films that premiered at the 2014 Toronto International Film Festival, Cut Bank, and Kill Me Three Times. Both films received negative reviews from critics. She played the love interest to Liam Hemsworth and Billy Bob Thornton's daughter in Cut Bank and an assassin in Kill Me Three Times opposite Simon Pegg, Alice Braga, and Luke Hemsworth. The latter film is set to be released in April 10, 2015. She starred with Melissa Leo and Phoebe Tonkin in The Ever After, directed by her husband Mark Webber. Written by Palmer and Webber, it is a love story that explores the depths of marriage. In 2015, she appeared in the Terrence Malick-directed film Night of Cups, starring Christian Bale. The film premiered in the main competition section at the 65th Berlin International Film Festival in February 2015. Night of Cups has received mixed reviews from critics. It holds a 42% on Rotten Tomatoes based on 12 reviews. The film was scheduled to be released on March 4, 2016 in the United States by Broad Green Pictures. Palmer had a supporting role in the 2015 remake of Point Break. The film was released in the US. On December 25, 2015. It was panned by critics. In October 2015, it was learned that Palmer would participate in a short film called Too Legit with Zoe Kravitz, Clark Gregg, Nate Cordery, and Lauren Weedman. This project was confirmed by the director of the film, Frankie Shaw via Twitter and Instagram and had its premiere on January 23, 2016 at the Sundance Film Festival. In 2016, she played the female lead role in the adaptation of the Nicholas Sparks novel The Choice, alongside Benjamin Walker, Tom Welling, Alexandra Daddario, and Tom Wilkinson. The film premiered on February 5, 2016 and was panned by critics. She appeared alongside Casey Affleck in the crime drama heist film, Triple Nine, directed by John Hillcote. It was released nationwide on February 26, 2016. It was met with mixed reviews and failed to impress at the box office. Metacritic gives the film a score of 52 out of 100, based on 41 critics, indicating mixed or average reviews. On CinemaScore, audiences gave the film an average grade of C plus on an A plus to F scale. Also that year, she portrayed Rebecca in the horror film Lights Out, and co-starred in the war drama Hacksaw Ridge, playing the love interest of Andrew Garfield's character. Both films received positive reviews, with Palmer's performances being praised. She co-starred in the film Message from the King, alongside Chad McBoseman, Luke Evans, and Alfred Molina. In 2017, 
Palmer starred in the psychological thriller Berlin Syndrome, alongside Max Riemelt. She also starred alongside Michael Hoosman and Sam Reed in the science fiction thriller 222. In 2018, Palmer began a starring role as Diana Bishop in the British supernatural drama series A Discovery of Witches. Palmer was one of the two number one ticket holders of the Port Adelaide Football Club for a number of years, starting from 2009, along with Australian television presenter David Cook. She is also the number one ticket holder for the Unley Mercedes Jets, a Division I amateur team in the Adelaide Football League. It is a tradition for clubs to recognize a prominent supporter as the number one ticket holder. Palmer went to games with the team, she spoke at functions, and performed a game beginning coin toss. Palmer began dating actor slash director Mark Webber in late 2012 after contacting him via Duck Twitter. They became engaged in August 2013 and married on December 21, 2013 in Mexico. She and Weber have three children together. Through her marriage, Palmer is also a stepmother to Weber's son from Weber's previous relationship with actress Frankie Shaw. The family resides in the Beachwood Canyon community of Los Angeles. In November 2012, Palmer and friend Phoebe Tonkin launched the health and wellness website Your Zen Life. She co-founded a sister site to Your Zen Life called Your Zen Mama, with her friend, actress Sarah Wright. In July 2016, Palmer was criticized for continuing to breastfeed her two-year-old son. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.